I'm Jerome Gibson. And the only thing I got to say or can say today is, I'm all excited, I'm all excited. Just like my son Ian would say when he was a small boy, because I just received this. Now this is from the U.S. Patent Office, and it doesn't look like the old files I would get from the Patent Office, because they always had a window here. But this new one is something I've been waiting for, so um, it turns out to be my official patent for a product idea that I had for a corner for picture frames. The outside is in this nice little booklet, and the outside of the booklet has a nice seal on it, and it's hard bound. It has all my drawings inside, and then it has my description, my background, the, uh, the summary, and uh, finally on the last page it has all the claims for the patent. This is really exciting because it's taken a couple of years for me to get this. There was no objections to any of my writing, so it's the first time I've ever had a patent that's just straight through. First of all, I'm sure you're familiar with my molding. Picture it being as long as you could possibly want it, but I shortened it so it had some little pieces. And uh, this was a piece of the same molding that I had made a corner of. And this was the crudest prototype that I could possibly come up with. And the whole idea is that instead of having to miter cut corners, we would just eliminate having to cut corners entirely by having these prefab corners. And the molding would just simply slide into a prefab corner like this. And you take a second one and it would slide into a prefab corner and it works a lot like Lego and that was uh, the basic concept. Now if you wanted to make this permanent you could glue it and it would become permanent. This wasn't good enough for what I needed. I made the drawings in a uh, 3D CADing program and designed this little part and I sent it off to a company called Red Eye and what they specialize in is 3D printing. This was printed in 3D space, and it was really expensive. Four of these cost me several hundred dollars, but nevertheless, it saved me a considerable amount of both money and time. Because to have this made in a metal mold, we're looking at maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. But the whole idea is still the same. I take a length, doesn't matter how long it is, and it just slides inside. I take another length for the other side, and again, it just slides right into the little channel, and it'll stay in that channel. The other nice thing about this, too, is it doesn't have to be precise. You can be out almost an inch, and it'll still work.